Uh, hi guys, it's me again, Mama Rika. Today, uh, I'm just going to show you guys to uh, those materials that I get from the different stores usually uh, because I have a new project, guys, that I had preparations or some pre preparations for this coming 2021. So, it is by uh, preparations this for coming uh, festival celebrations in australia so usually my clients came from australia guys so i'm very thankful for that uh guys uh i'm the materials that i get it guys and some of them are expensive and some of them are cheaper a little so we're just uh showing you the materials guys because nowadays guys because of the covid 19 so they are not allowed to shift or by land uh uh or by air it's really difficult because it's not allowed by the government to trouble any products or supplies from the different towns or mainland from different cities so that's why the increase of the price of the different materials is a little bit high so we need to understand because of this happening of pandemic so uh, this materials guys is very simple it's very useful you can use anything that you can uh, recycle uh, by the way, all the materials that I have before I tackle recycle, guys, uh, I'm going to show you those uh, materials that I get, okay? So, this is the materials, guys. So, first, guys, I'm going to show you guys the materials of, uh, for the costume. So, usually, guys, uh, that's the main reason that I get these materials earlier as possible it is because i made a sample guys for my clients so my clients request me to make a samples first before i produce uh, multiple uh, costumes guys okay so we're going to start it guys from the i uh, know uh cloth okay so first guys i have the alpagina cloth guys or this muslin that there are some people call this muslin uh you know yeah this really uh nice and textures guys good for costumes by the way only alpagina that i use is just only for the uh, inner cover for the costumes guys so this is alpagina guys okay so um i have a different colors here uh, uh this is the satin guys so this is uh usually not too thick guys this is a uh, uh, a little bit uh, not too thick okay so, sorry about it uh, usually you can uh, use this alpagina guys so uh, in Tagalog is manipis or this is thin so usually something is really thin guys okay so I have the color of this guys uh, blue of course I have the red the uh, celadon green or the emerald green so I have gold here so those the clothes that I need guys especially I have uh, two kinds of clothes that usually use for costumes okay so if you are you know, familiar with the eco bag or they can call it is uh, eco cloth so it's very different guys it's different when it is created okay so but usually this uh, kind of cloth they call it eco bag so if you are in the grocery guys you can show this one this is for sale guys 15 pesos 25 depending on the size guys so you can get this one guys this really different guys from the from the normal cloth okay so this is really nice very strong hold when this uh, creating this kind of costumes guys so I have the I like one it's the green and of course I have the the gold or yellow gold so they are the same eco bag guys okay so uh, I give you sample guys this is an eco bag so uh, this is made from this materials guys okay so this is already back so that's it okay so uh, I have the rubber rubber so usually guys rubber is uh, they called it in in US, uh, uh, 
Oh my God, I forget it. I call it this one. Usually, this is lukban in the Philippines. They call this lukban. Usually, this is a rubber mat, guys. Uh, so, this is really useful for different uh, types of materials that you want to create for this kind of materials, guys. Okay, the result is amazing. Usually, uh, one of the best uh, use for this is for the toddlers for kindergarten, kinder schools. So, you can use this one as a cover for your floor or uh, uh, from the headboard of the different kinds of uh, side of the room so you can use this for floor or something like that for wall so just to protect the head of the children especially this is really nice okay look band guys uh, you can form the look band guys in a different way okay this is really nice for the costumes okay so I have the spangle here guys. A spangle is a different kind of size, different shades and different colors, okay? In different shapes. So, it's depend on the shop that you get this uh, kind of spangle. It's a little bit uh, guys. Uh... Oh my god, can you have a What do you want to play? Oh, play the eye. Sorry. Sorry, I got paid the eye. <laughs> okay guys, this bangle is one of the best materials that you can get it from different store, from different store, okay? So, it's really expensive guys, you know, per kilo, more than, starting from 2000 down to 270 so by a kilo, okay? So, this is one part kilo guys, so it is cost uh, something 200 okay something like that guys i forget it the price guys because they're almost uh silver and gold that i've been using for for my costumes okay comes to mushroom beads guys mushroom beads mushroom beads is really really nice something like that guys okay so this is the mushroom beads guys so uh kilo okay per kilo uh it rings more than 400 down to two to 180 something like that okay per kilo is uh i, I remember it's more than uh six or four six to four four hundred per kilo or something like that but it's really nice guys to use this one something a little bit expensive because it's really nice and the combinations of colors really nice and very important guys so i have this uh, green blue yellow gold white or red so so different shades of color guys so i have different shades of colors so ah, i'm going to combine it guys for the costumes so when it comes to uh continuous beads so i have the silver guys i use the smaller one because i'm going just to use this for the droppings and of course gold so this is really nice guys um this is the the look guys so it is continuous beads pearl continuous beads something like that and of course i have a pearl just to make an accessories for the headpiece so you can you can buy this uh guys you can get it from the different stores or usually from the clothing clothing stores or uh accessory store so you can get this one uh this pearl guys is very useful for gowns and costumes you can combine it in a different way so it's nice okay so when it comes to bead guys i have a different kinds of shades and colors for the beads okay so this is the round one guys uh number 18 to number 24 so i get it number 18 or number 24 size this is a round cut diamond beads so i have the white the black violet and the skin tone color so because it's really important for me to combine it to for the costumes guys so i have also here a uh, green and a large uh black so they are both large guys so i'm going to show you guys what exactly the, uh, the look of this when i started creating the costumes guys so you don't worry about it guys so of course guys for creating a costume you need some a little bit flowy down to your you know, arms your feet or your neck so i'm using uh ribbons so this is a uh, one port size of ribbon 
So it's really important to combine it in a different way when you are creating costumes. So I need to rewind, guys. Okay. So when you are uh, manipulating the thread or your sewing technique when you are sewing in it or fixing, so you need uh, trimmings. Trimmings, guys, or continuous trimmings or recraft. It's really important to apply it best to hide your uh, your stitches or your fixing details so this is really nice to cover up so of course I have a, a different kinds of shades of cords so I need a three color because it's just for the head uh, headpiece so this is the for the crown or headpiece guys so I'm going to use this to cover up that's the nice result so so this is the materials guys that I have here on my table guys so far so I'm going to prefer it as initial materials that I have guys so I hope uh, guys you get on some ideas how to create this uh, different kinds of uh, way of creating so I'm going to show you guys each of them little by little how to create them an exact result for the costumes guys because it is gives us a lot of time to create that's the main reason that i'm preparing it earlier uh before 2021 so i'm just making a sample first for my clients so usually my clients from australia it's uh celebrating the festival of sinulog at the same time for the filipino community in australia so that's the main reasons i'm preparing this hi mom I don't want to mention your name <laughs> just for the security so this is the video mom that all the materials uh, partially that I have just to create a sample for your costumes ma. okay this is again mama Rika bye bye and thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe guys it's a very big help for me uh, your views and your watchings in my videos for any videos that I am uploaded this is my real time and maria life what is made be made every day <laughs> thank you bye bye